This question is from year 2022 Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 1. Question number 44. Consider steady one-dimensional compressible flow of a gas in a pipe of diameter 1 meter. At one location in the pipe, the density and velocity are 1 kg per meter cube and 100 meter per second respectively. At a downstream location in the pipe, the velocity is 170 meter per second. If the pressure drop between these two locations is 10 kPa, the force exerted by the gas on the pipe between these two locations is dash Newton. Let's find out. Let this be a schematic diagram of this pipe. So, diameter of the pipe is given as 1 meter. Let this be location 1 and this be location 2. Let's write the given things here. As we see, diameter is given 1 meter. Density at location 1 is given 1 kg per meter cube, while velocity is given 100 meter per second. Difference in pressure at the two locations is given delta P, which is 10 kPa. Also, velocity at location 2 V2 is given 170 meter per second. We need to find out the force exerted by the fluid between these two sections 1 and 2. So, definitely we have to use the linear momentum equation which states that summation F that is summation of forces on a control volume is equal to on the right hand side we have to take the rate of change of linear momentum between these two sections 1 and 2. So at the entry of the control volume will be the initial linear momentum while at the exit it will be the final. So we need to write m dot v2 we are not only taking the linear momentum but we are taking the rate of change of linear momentum so it is m dot v2 minus m dot v1 this m dot here represents mass flow rate which gives us the time rate of change now mass flow rate being a constant we can write m dot is given by rho a into v where a into v gives us volumetric change per unit time into rho gives us the mass flow rate because by definition of density we have density is mass per unit volume so here it is rho 1 into a1 into v1 so substituting this here we will get on the left hand side we have the summation of forces so one force will be due to this change of pressure so we can write delta p into the cross sectional area a a1, A2 both are equal to A. So, we can write A here. This is one force. It will be in the forward direction in the direction of the flow. While the force that is that we need to find out will be in the opposite direction. So, we will write it as minus F. F is the unknown force that we need to find out. This will be equal to rho1 into A1 into V1. So, this M dot is taken common. In bracket, it is V2 minus V1. So, we will simply substitute all these values delta p is 10 kilo pascal let's substitute it in pascal so we have 10 into 10 to the power 3 pascal into area can be found out using diameter which will be pi by 4 into 1 square this area is in meter square here minus f is equal to rho 1 is given 1 kg per meter cube so we'll substitute it as it is 1 into again a1 is given as pi by 4 into 1 square into v1 is 100 meter per second and in the bracket we have v2 is 170 minus again v1 is 100. Rearranging this we will get the value of f as 750 pi. We keep pi as it is because in the options the answer is given as a as a coefficient of pi. Pi is kept as it is. So pay attention on the options as well. Mark accordingly. Let's go back and mark this one. Our answer is option B. If the pressure drop between these two locations is 10 kPa, force exerted by the gas on the pipe between these two locations is 750 pi. To learn more about linear momentum equation, you can refer to the NPTEL video. Lecture 10, Reynolds Transport Theorem, Mass and Linear Momentum Conservation. It's from the course Advanced Concepts in Fluid Mechanics. The course is taught by Professor Suman Chakrabarti. He is from IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution helps you clear your doubt. Thank you.